All right, so in this one, we're looking at how to change uh, a profile picture. Okay, so to do that, the first thing we need to do is to go to our database and change something there. So we're going to go to our database here, my book DB, and then go to the users table. And we need to add two more columns to accommodate our images. So if I go to the structure, so if I go to the structure, I want to add one column for cover image and one column. So one column for the profile image. So I'm going to add two columns here and hit go. So you can choose where you want these columns to go. For me, it doesn't really matter. So I just say go. And these are going to be uh, text based columns because all we want to save is the path to this image. So I will say profile underscore image and I'm going to say uh, cover underscore image in this one. And then let's change the format to variable character, varka. Let me go back here as well, variable character. And then in here, we'll put how many characters we think we might have. So let me just put 1000 just for good measure in case the path is long. If you're expecting a shorter path, uh, you can put 500. Now in here, we don't need to add any indexes or indices. So just hit save when you are here and we're good to go. So now if we go back to the browse, we're going to see that we have two new columns at the end, profile image and cover image, which is pretty awesome. All right, so now that that is done, what we need now is a page uh, where we can say, change profile image that will enable us to change the profile image okay now uh, we have to be able to know because only the user the current user should be able to uh, change their profile image so we're going to go to the profile image here profile page profile or php we need to have a link to that page so I don't know what we're going to call that page. Let's create a new page here and say, uh, let me save it. It's going to be change. Uh, let's just change. We can say, we can call it anything. I'm going to call it change profile underscore image. I know it's too long, but uh, why not? So it's change underscore profile underscore image. You can name it anything you want at this point. It doesn't really matter. So I'll save that. And actually, instead of doing this, what we could have done better is, let me close this file and go to the folder. See, change profile image. Let me rename it and copy that name. Or, and then I can, uh, uh, which is actually useless because I'll copy something else. I'll delete it and then See, what I want to do here is simply save time by copying. If I go to timeline, this could be a good way to change our, I can simply edit this one. So let me go to the folder again and copy index.php copy and paste it again, and then rename it to change profile underscore image like that. And then I can now uh, load it in my text editor. Now, the good thing is it already has the checking to see if the user is logged in, so we are good to go. And it has all these things. Now we can change the title here, obviously, to change profile image, something like that. And then let's see what else we can get rid of here. So first of all, we don't need the friends bar, for example. So let me remove all these that have to do with friends, all right? We won't need a text area either. We'll leave the post button, the post bar, and we won't need any menu buttons either. We will need a profile pic, and we can leave the search box since it will be at the top here and the blue bar. All right, so then uh, let's go down here and delete some sections. So for example, this uh, section right here, First of all, the profile image and this entire section here, 
we can actually get rid of so posts this is the whole thing uh, where is the posts area okay so this post bar up to the end there we can get rid of it and we can also get rid of the friends area that's the one that contains our profile image so this is the whole area here get rid of it out all right so i think uh, we are good to go so this was on your mind as well again to get rid of it but uh, let's see how it looks like so far now we need a link to that actual page so let me go to my profile page and we need a link to there so now you can put the link pretty much anywhere most likely just under the profile image here so that you can say someone can click on it and say change so what i would do is go to the profile page and we know that the image is called the selfie uh, profile peak there we go So there we go. So what I could do here is create a div or a span so that I can enclose it inside a span. The whole thing. Okay, so there we go. Let me leave some space here so that uh, we have some way to work well. And let me refresh and see if anything has changed. Nothing has changed. Good. So right here underneath, I'm going to say change image so let's see what that results in okay so now we have a button here that says change image so it's up to you how you want to design these things uh, it's entirely up to you so let me put a break tag here just to make it go below maybe that would be much better mm -hmm. like that and then i want it to have some styles let me style this and just say font size let me reduce the font size quite a bit 11 pixels let's see what we get all right so change image uh, looks pretty small which is good which is what we want we don't want it to be too prominent or so maybe too low i can put it here capital c and then also I need to give it a link href to our new created uh, page so let me close that a tag there okay why do I have this issue okay I didn't put a bracket there so this one goes to the change I don't even remember what I have named the file change let me just copy that and paste it here as the link dot php don't forget that all right so if i refresh now i have change image and when i click it i can go to that place now as usual if i don't want the underlining text i can simply add a style to this uh, a tag and say text decoration and set that to none okay and then right here i can even change its color if i want to i can say color uh, let me use the zero ff something like that okay not what i was looking for let me try f zero f yeah that's much better looks much better so change image right here if i click and then it takes me to this nice page we've created here if I click here I go back to my uh, profile and also I have to make sure that in the header if I click on this image I can go back to my uh, profile wherever I am at that point so let me add that as well in the header let me go to header.php and then where there's the selfie image where is that uh, the image is right here so we also have we'll make this one dynamic as well but for now, let me add an A tag here, opening and closing A tag, and then say profile.php so that you can easily go to your profile page at any time 
if for example i go to change image and i want to get out of here go back to my profile i can simply click on the image and then i'm back here and change image again so let's design this to look like uh, we actually want to change an image so to do that is quite easy so let's go to that uh, file itself now the things we don't need are the text area of course we don't need to type in any text but we need our submit button and we can leave the div right there which is uh, doing no harm but then we need a different kind of input here so now this input the type is going to be uh, file okay and then let's give it a name we're going to name it uh, we can name it anything but let's name it file so that it's easy to remember and uh, let me refresh now and so there we are so it's as simple as this there's the browse no file selected and then you can hit the post button when you are actually done so now the important thing is to create a form because without a form we can't submit anything so i'm going to say form so this is the opening and closing so we make sure that we encapsulate everything will be inside the form like that and the important thing is to add a method as post now there's something very important here after you add this part if you're going to be uploading images which we're actually doing here or files you have to set an enc type like so now enc type and we set this one to multi part form i hope i'm remembering this uh, well multi-part slash this should be a slash here multi-part slash form data so you have to type it exactly like this if you don't do this you will not receive you will not be able to upload any files of any kind you'll be able to send text using the post method no problem but in order to send files another method is used another variable is used called files which will contain this data right here so in order to try and upload an image let's go up here we have to be able to know when someone has posted something so we'll add that if statement here now we could simply go to the profile page and copy it since we already have it uh, if you if you don't need to type something don't type it so let's copy from the profile if you don't have it there just simply copy the text closing tag so posting starts here if server request method is post meaning something was posted so let's check what we have so i'm going to say print r of course the post variable like that and then i want to also something else called the files variable so the files variable will contain all the files that have been posted the post will contain all the text that has been posted so very important here for the files to recognize the file you need to have this file input and it must have a name whatever name you put here it doesn't really matter so let me refresh this and then let me hit post and so as soon as i hit post you see we have an array here which is empty and then we have another array which has got a file which has got file now file here is because is is written as file because that's what we named it here whatever you name it there that's what you get here and inside there there's an array with the name of the file the type of file and the temp name where the the file is going to be sent to and then if there's an error uh, you will have it here which we have right now the error is equal to four now error four means no file was found and then the size is equal to zero so this is how you know that no file was posted or you can simply you can simply check for the error or you check if the name is empty and so on all right so the files in order for you to see this better what i will do is go up here and add the pre tags so i'm going to echo uh, these html tags called pre something like so and then let me copy this uh, and put it down here slash just like that and then refresh again ah now that looks much better so there's an array here one array for the post variables and then another array for the files now as you can see there's no file here there's name which is empty type a temp name error and so on so we haven't 
uploaded any file. So in the next uh, video, we're going to look at how to create a class that will upload this file and actually resize it while doing that.